<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're live. Hopefully, we're live in uh, in Facebook land all over. We've hopefully we're in we're in the My Time TV. We're in the uh, uh, we're in the Keto Nick, and also we're in the new uh, video um, live video sales um, with Be Live as well. So we're in that group as well. Today. Now we're also on Amazon. Have you got your Amazon link there? It's up and running. Hello, everybody on Amazon. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, oh gosh, if you didn't know, sorry, apologies for our lateness in this England Australia cook off. We were having a little bit of audio technical difficulties. Actually, well, it's quite nice. Okay. They couldn't hear me, which is probably not a bad thing in, in reality. <laughs> but, I could um, yeah. do a milli, milli vanilli and do a lip sync and sort of, you know, anticipate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, under, I'm, under strict, I'm under strict instructions now not to press any other buttons. We'll just go Don't. with what we've got. Uh, so well, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the England Australia cook off every Tuesday. Ah, oh, even the time differences have not failed us today. So it is 9 a.m. just after 9 a.m. in the UK, just after 7 p.m. in Australia. I'm Nick Wood, and I'm joined, as always, by the amazing Adair Palmer. Adair, how's your week been on your houseboat? Well, it's been a crazy week here, but thank you for asking, Nick. It has been quite windy and woolly, and we were all geared up for a great Halloween. We had all the, the bells and whistles. If you remember last week, I dressed up in the Halloween costume and yeah. made some kombucha, and Halloween day, which was Sunday, we thought, oh, we'll go over and we'll be able to do some trick-or-treating, take a cauldron of sweets over to the uh, the island, but we couldn't get off the boat. It was no. so so windy. So uh, we actually, we even lost the bumper off of the car boat, so it's now we've got to tie that up out the back so it doesn't chew up the houseboat. They had a bit of a fisticuff. But it's all part of boat life, and what we ended up doing was putting on a little display out in the back area, and apparently the feedback is that it was pretty darn good, and I have now got enough lollies to bribe the grandies for the next two years. So, <laughs> oh, nice. oh, I love so that. that didn't go anywhere. So welcome to, um, like as Nick said, all the faces that we're live and uh, my Amazon channel as well as Nick's Amazon channel. And what are we doing tonight? Yeah, tonight we've got the big taco cook-off challenge. So I've got, now because I'm blessed, I've got an oven. I'm going to try and make my own taco shells, kind of keep it a little bit keto. So I'm going to do a little flour and almond flour mixture nice. might work should work hopefully um who knows so uh, so yes uh, hello Stephen, watching us on amazon thank you always for for tuning in um and yeah, Hi, watch it. It just type in uh nick wood dot live for my channel and the dare to get your channel i need to find the links but i don't want to touch anything <laughs> don't touch anything oh this is like <laughs> all right um we, what we can do is uh, pop the links in, I was going to say afterwards, but then it's no fun, is it? Because we won't be there. But <laughs> so the I'm amazon.com forward slash mytimetv.live, so, or mytimetvlive. I will get a URL, that is adairpalmer.com, I think, because that's a really good idea and have it forwarded to that. Before we get into nice. the, the tacos, can yep. I just share with you the results of last week's effort? Oh, yes, yes. You can betcha. This is, this is the last bottle. and um, It's berry. We did a few um, after I made it up and we we um, we did. Oh, no, sorry. This is from the week before. Last week's effort, and I bottled yesterday, and that's over here in the corner. So let's see if I can find that. So. I'm getting my I'm getting my days mixed up with the kombucha. It's like go a bit, yeah. So just I know. Oh, okay, so that's just have a look up here in the corner. There you can see we've got bottles of ginger. So this has been bottled up from last week's batch that we made. So there's the ginger and there's um, 
there's nice. a berry as well because that's that's my favorite the the berry and the ginger is my uh two, two of my favorites but what i wanted to do was just have a little bit of a um Drink, have a, drinking which are, well, well drinking on the job it is it is non-alcoholic and i think there are there is some way that you can ferment it to make it a little bit of alcoholic oh here's here's knowledge hey babe you've been waiting, been waiting for the taco episode <laughs> i'm just okay so that's here we go here's one i prepared earlier <laughs> love it love it Cheers. yeah hi nice that does look really nice it's so refreshing and it's good for you i'm just going to pop this back mm. in the fridge and you can keep yeah. going so just run how, how did you actually make that again last week you, you use some some crazy culture thing oh yes it's called a scoby scoby that's it yeah scoby a scoby culture and uh, and i'm not sure what comes first the chicken or the egg nick because you need a scoby to make the kombucha but then the kombucha when you make it grows the scoby so um it's, it's, it's a, it's a i guess I, and i wouldn't have be able to even hazard a guess whose parent that scoby belongs to because i've had mine for probably you know, like iterations of it because it grows new ones and then you, you you throw them out or give them to the chooks or compost them or give them to the fish. Um, give them to your friends so they can make their own kombucha. But um, the original scoby, I wouldn't even know where that came from. It's almost like it gets a, an heirloom that gets passed down and it grows new heirlooms. And then <laughs> yeah, it's a bit it's funny. Just amazing. Oh, so, so amazing. So amazing. So right, tell me, what, what are you going to do with the um, with the flour um, that you're making your tacos? Because mine are going to be old El Paso. Oh yeah, well, two things. One, uh, I went to the local store and we've got a little bit of a supply chain issue in the UK at the moment. Could not mm. find a taco shell for love nor money. So, <laughs> so I'm actually being forced to make one. But I can make them because I've got an oven. I know you haven't got an oven, so because I do. I'm going to make mine in the oven. Uh, Rosemary, follow me on uh, on Amazon. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate that. Because if you are watching on Amazon, do hit the follow button. Then you know you'll get notified when we when we go live again every Tuesday. But but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to attempt to make. I've used my good old friend YouTube, uh, and I've been looking for some decent taco recipes. I think I found one. Kind of just making it a little bit different because I'm going to make it a little bit keto. So I'm flour and almond flour but it should be the same I mean it, normally you do a little bit of flour and a little bit of corn flour so what could possibly go wrong <laughs> so, so what are you, you and you, you've got some uh, you're doing a, a vegetarian filling as well yeah and you know you know one of the things that I used to say was how hard can that be yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's really the same hard. as what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> so I'm doing a vegetarian filling, and it was recommended. This was recommended by um, a friend. So shout out to you, Richard Breeze. You and Tony were inspired us to um, Nigel and I to look at uh, doing things a little bit differently. And when we were talking, we caught up with them in South Australia and uh, and they said oh we've got this great recipe for a vegetarian taco meal but you do need an oven for it i don't oh. have an oven so i'm going to hopefully make it up so and this is for the filling so what i've got um for the the taco shell and if um, there's some things that we we're finding that um, in terms of supply uh, is a bit difficult to um, different things. Plenty of toilet paper, which is good. Hey, if you're over on Amazon, do say hi. I just what I want to do is I'm just going to pop on the um, the carousel um, just before we get into the. This. I've just pop the scoby up there on the carousel as a featured. So if you're looking to make some kombucha, 
this is really 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 nice and last week sorry we went through the process of how to make it um, and there's produce there on the carousel and there's also um, some uh, beverage like storage glasses there you can just have a look and there's also one of the latest was this I love this this one uh, hang on it's coming up the non-breakable glasses that look like well this is the theory they look like glasses <laughs> yeah. they're unbreakable so let's unbreakable. see how that's, that's a challenge where I come from yes well they um everything's plastic yeah and I've broken plastic glasses but plastic glasses doesn't sound right does it no, I can't, I've got it. I've never, I've never had a plastic glass that really did the trick. I don't think. I'm just going to bring. But a plastic is it plastic or is it glass? <laughs> a plastic we, we now All have, right. we now have flower cam. <laughs> All right. Well, so you basically, I've, I've, see that. I've got, gonna... What I've done is I've, I've put, uh, I put a hundred grams of white flour, hundred grams of. Um, almond flour, uh, dessert spoon of salt, uh, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to very gradually add some water to that. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I'm add some water to that to, to form it into a dough, and then uh, I'll make it into little rounds after that. So, so that's what's going on here. But I just, as always, with my lovely little graphics, um, I've got <laughs> I've got Adair's head is in the way. <laughs> oh my head's in the way. What? Yeah, not your, not your fault there at all. It's my fault for um I just readjust my camera. My fault for having oh. the graphic the way it is. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. we'll have to go with the flow. So as always, we've got these uh we're gonna use a little bit of warm water. Tepid water. Ooh, a little bit warmer than I thought. Um just to to bring this into a little into a little dough. So all right. Well, so basically, while you're doing your dough, I'm going to be focused on the um, doing the filling. And so, what the goal is here is to try and make a, a, a bigger bench. Is to try try and make the um, the filling. The, yeah. as much like um, meat as possible without being meat. So oh, that's, see, the, yeah. so that's the thing, is it? It's he? taking that, getting those textures and, uh, and making really? it feel like it's a hearty filling. So there's three ingredients I'm using, and one is cauliflower. I'm also using some walnuts and some mushrooms so i've got some mushrooms here and i've got this will, be, this will impress you i've got a an actual food processor back here oh and I, actually i might i might put i might put the cauliflower in the big food processor Do the that sounds like an idea and i've got a little hand food processor um chopper here as well so um so I thought you can't be the one that has all the fun with, no, the, I... <laughs> with, with, with the kitchen. What do you call them? All the, the do, doodads, the kitchen doodads. Oh, my kitchen, yeah, my kitchen aid. And in the, the corner here, oh, look, I'm going to show you. Uh, in the corner, we have my amazing ninja, Nutri Ninja. I can't actually get out at the moment. But he's there always, my favourite piece of kit. And this, this little bit, this little guy here, this is Lucy. And Lucy is my sourdough culture. So in the, uh, oh, nice one, nice, loving the, veg loving the vegetarian dishes. Now, Lucy is a sourdough culture because I've got some, and in the carousel, I can't, I, my hands are full, so I can't click it. In the carousel, there are, uh, there are some lovely sourdough proving baskets. Um, that also have a lovely little um, uh, template so you can make your your bread 
have a little design on it. So there's a unicorn, teddy bear, all sorts Aww. of things like that. Not really sweet. But in order to make the sourdough, I've had to make um, Lucy the sourdough culture, who is uh, who's going to um, I'm feeding her every day. That's kind of cute. Oh, and we got. Oh, we got young son. Go Aussies. Go Aussies. Oh. We did, did you in the that? the other day. Nigel, Are we to make Nigel, he loves the vegetarian dishes. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are we allowed to mention the cricket? Well, know. it's just not cricket. What is cricket is have to be the world's most boring game, wouldn't it? I'd rather watch paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> love it love it right so and, here is my and, and being that nige is a uh, a painter that's a very apt <laughs> all right <laughs> so, I'm, I'm gonna do it just a little bit because with all this stuff we, we put the cauliflower the walnut and the mushrooms into the um the oven to dry out um so i've got no idea how it's going to fry but anyway let's do they'll be going into the fry pan instead cool while you're doing that i'm having a little fight with my camera okay looking at the back of the bed let's bring it down that way Bring it down a bit more. This is our little dough. So this is just exactly as it's as I expected. Just make a little nice little dough. So I'm just going to break that into little balls, and then uh, I'm going to roll it out into little circles. Well, actually, I'll probably use a bowl just to to cut it up. I'm just going to pop a little bit of flour down. Well, I'm just going to. Oh, no, I want. I just uh, mute myself for a moment. I oh, know I'm not going to touch anything. It might not yeah. hear it. I hope. I'm just going to pause <laughs> it. No oh yeah, that's a good idea. Now I'm not sure how how good these tacos are going to get because I need to roll them quite. Quick. Yeah. That one went alright. So the idea yeah. is that they that is the consistency of um, rice, obviously. Yes. That's oh what yes. Cauliflower is good for. It certainly is cauliflower rice. We like that. This is going to be cauliflower. Nice. And, just, and again, you just a couple of little pulses, isn't it? Because otherwise, it can turn into a real slush. Well, cauliflower is very, uh, got very, a lot of a high water content. And if you've ever yeah. made cauliflower bread, Nick, you'll know that you've got to put it in a cheesecloth and squish it all the, all the water out. Oh, now that's interesting. I've, I've not actually, I've not actually made cauliflower bread before. Okay. Well, yeah. So I'm going to do the. Okay. Yeah. Move these out of the way. Right, so let me... gonna... I'm going to do the walnuts. Are we talking over each other? <laughs> no, no. You you talk. I'm 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 rolling. I was just going to say I'll do the walnuts with the food processor, and then I'm going to try the hand the the hand chopper for the mushrooms. I'm yeah. realizing that I may have needed to make my balls bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, no laughing at no la no laughing at the back there. <laughs> no, not laughing at the back. Not laughing at all. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, might get away with that. Who knows? Uh, you might get away with that. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, <gasps> combine. Com let's combine too quickly. That might uh, so Nige, Nige is asked if you're using soft or hard taco shells. Um, obviously, Ooh. that's a uh, great question. Great question. Um, so these ones, I'm going to put them in the oven, um, and they will they will harden. So, yeah, I want hard taco shells. Well, by the magic of television, here's one I prepared earlier. 
<laughs> Where's one I unpacked? I unboxed it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I'm going. This is kind of. This is going to be. These are going to be rustic tobacco shelves. That's oh, that's it. all right. I saw some. Um, what do they call them? Wraps, taco wraps. So that must be a new thing too. Since. Yeah, I think you can pretty much do anything with a with a taco. So, there's no rules, is there? There's no, no rules. rules, especially when we're cooking. So I know, right? So one day we'll even put the recipes up. I'm just gonna. You, oh, oh my God! Look at that fancy pants. All right. Well, <laughs> So that's how well, that's how it's going to work. My, my processor, which is as fancy as I've got ever since we started cooking together, Nick. So <laughs> just, let me, <laughs> just let me give that a whirl. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the fact you've got your food processor on the go. So I'm just going to roll out one more. I need to put them in the oven okay. then I can get on with my, with my filling so I'm not sure whether such to do a, a such a trial to dig it out from under the, the bunk um in the spare room but when I did I thought well I'm going to use it I had the blade sharpened especially <laughs> nice nice well as I was saying to you Adair earlier very excited I'll be moving uh, later today and I'll have a new kitchen uh, a kitchen that I was, I was, uh, I, I was able to put into the house. Gosh, I think about nine or ten years ago, almost now. Um, so it's beautiful. So I'll be able to have my uh, all my kitchen aid sitting out, proud. So I have all my all my kit ready to hand. So Whoa, I'm expecting my cooking to go up another notch or two. You uh, seriously won't you know yourself. And should I should I be afraid? Should I be very afraid? <laughs> no. No, there's no. It's still only me. So it's right, still only yeah. It's only it's them, only put these in a little bowl. Save them for later. And I think my tacos are going to take about ten minutes to crisp up. So I've all got right, a little so time yeah. on that. Well, I've, I've a little really bit just get a little bit tighter. So while you do that, I'm um, just giving these mushies a bit of a rough chop here, and I'm going to see how we go with the hand processor for this one. Nice, nice. Yeah, so so what, what are you chopping in there? These are, I've got some mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms, yeah, nice. Yeah, so, so far I've got um, a combination of uh, walnuts, cauliflower, and I'm about to do the mushy. So let's see how this goes. Cool, right. Okay. As, as always, just like to wipe down my tops. Turn it off. Make sure they're nice and clean. I think I just, I think I stuffed it a bit full. Hang on, I might have to take some there. <laughs> that does look a little bit good. Oh, there we are. There we oh, go. Then. Perfect. Perfect. If, I, if I could, I would I would bring the little ninja out for me. Oh, while, you're, while you're doing that, I'll just quickly, yeah, this is the uh, the amazing ninja I love. Lots of things. It's in the carousel. Um, yeah, massively sharp blades, blends, purees food. Um, it, it's got this IQ thing. So it's, it's its own little intelligent thing. So you just press the button and it will do, it will blend as much as it believes uh, is right for what you've got in there. I'm not sure, I don't know how it works, but it just does work. Well, I reckon that's a bit, and that's I love a bit it. Too. Well, I've got a couple yeah. of these little hand presser uh, things in the carousel as well. So go and have a look at those and you can choose on myself. Uh, that, that actually did quite a good little job, that little hand one. So it doesn't so I, think like that. I would, uh, I think I've overdone it with the, the mixture. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh no, I like I like that. That looks lovely. So let's and, see. Uh, Nigel, yeah. Nigel's saying, Will you fry the cauliflower, Adair? Well, um, well, babe, I'm supposed to be. Hang on, no, I just put the other camera on. I'm not supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be frying it. It's supposed to be baked in the oven. And if you are in a, a house and fortunate enough to have an oven, you can uh, put it. <laughs> in a, yeah, all right, Nick. <laughs> like Mr. Raymond Blog School of Cookery. Um, had to be said. Um, and uh, and later on, or not now, but in a minute, you're going to have a better one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, but what I'm going to do instead, because you with this mixture, you um, you lay it out so it's on a uh, baking tray, or put it on baking paper, and then and um, cook it for about 30 minutes slowly uh, on 180 degrees. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have an oven, and I'm going to. Put it in the fry pan and see if I can't sort of dry it out a bit without burning it or something. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Like I'm that. just, uh, I'm just going to. This is what you call making it up as you go, but it's it's adapting. <laughs> you know, I made pizza, I've made pizzas in the frying pan, so I figure I can make a taco. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we did. Yes, yeah. pizzas in the frying pan was fine. Now I'm just going to go break my cardinal rule of um, of bringing bringing food up to room temperature. I should have got my mince out earlier. I'm going to do a little bit of a mince filling oh, on so one. yours yours is not vegetarian. I'm going to do a vegetarian one and a non-vegetarian one. Oh, okay. So what do you do for a, a non-vegetarian one? For the non-vegetarian one, I've got uh, I've got some mushrooms. Uh, a bit of onion, I've got some figs. I think figs will go nicely. And figs. I've got an avocado. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. I know. I know. How cool is that? I'm just going to try and All open right. my blinds for a bit more light without blinding myself. All right. That's okay. Nice. So if you are, if you're watching on any of the channels that we have, um, that we're live on, do pop in and say hi. No, it doesn't need to be the only one that has good. I love seeing him there. <laughs> He's a good we're on, man. We're on Nick. We're on Nick Wood. Um, we're on Keto Nick. We're on My Time TV. We are on also the Be Live Streamers. Is that right? Um, oh, it's the uh, live video selling with Be Live. No, live video is yeah. doing with Be Live. I can't quite see what yeah. the thing about. And we're also on Amazon Live on Nick Wood channel, so and and mine's my time TV, uh, Amazon.com forward slash my time TV live. So do pop over and say hi. We've got some great stuff happening in the carousel on both channels on Amazon. And um, if you are over on Amazon, say hi. Give the Channels a bit of a, a support, the follow yeah. button, and um, and then if you want the comments to be seen in the stream, you'll need to come back to Facebook. But um, we're more than happy to chat with you wherever you are. So do say hi, reach out and say hi because we'd love to hear from you. So we tonight it. we're now, yeah, let, let us know where you're watching from as well. So let us know. Interesting please, to, please. To know. Um, yes. Obviously, I know. I know Stephen's in, in Wiltshire. Um, so, yeah, actually, Adair, next time you're you're doing a chat, I'll actually just type, oh, so I risk it and type it in, because the reason that, that we love using BeLive, and one of the things I love about it is is it's got the feature where we can drop links into the comments directly. So if you're if you are watching on Facebook or YouTube, or well, not on YouTube today, but then we can actually just drop links into the Amazon channels that we're on. So you can just click the link and it'll just take you as if it's by magic um, straight there. And I was, I was chatting to Stephen yesterday. We were talking about the fact that, you know, yes, we want everyone, you know, we, the whole point is we love people coming on to Amazon um, because, you know, that, that's where we love live streaming, get great views. But mm -hmm. equally, if, we, if, if you're only watching on, on Facebook or YouTube, we can still put the things that we have in our Amazon carousel into the live selling feature on BeLive, so we can actually drop the links in 
Oh, yeah. So, so then we're talking about, um, you know, I'm using my uh, my little uh, my little uh, my little um, uh, webcam, which I've just totally forgotten what it's called, uh, the C920. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I can actually just drop the link of that into the comments as well, so people can then mm -hmm. go. And that could be another Amazon link. So this is where we just generate this additional affiliate marketing. This is exactly how it, how it should work, where we just use things that we we love using. So you know, there's nothing better, and that's when you know it doesn't cost you any more. It just means that we get a little bit of commission on any sales. So all good. That's, that's right. why we love. So your support is very much appreciated, and I love that idea. And if I can get my act together, which will be in a minute, not now, in a minute. I will be. I will also be adding a product. Some of the products from the carousel. I can feature those in the streams as well, which is a great idea. I love that, Stephen. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. So it's all I've good. Oh, well done. Uh, yeah. My That's time TV. You popped you pop that in. I That's can, really cool. I, I just quickly I can demonstrate. I, I, well, yeah, I can only dream of, of multitasking. Um, <laughs> but I, I can just pop this one in. This is how we do it as a demo. So we just say show in stream. And this is why I need, I thought I got you set up here as well, Adair, but my apologies. So that just puts me up there. And then that will just drop the comment yeah. into the comments. And you see Nick Wood got live. And that's where it all is. So just take that back okay. off screen. Well, remember that for next week, mate. It's all done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, next week from the new beautiful kitchen. We'll from the new a, beautiful uh, kitchen, and I'm, I've got control of the the, uh, yeah. uh, the dashboard. <laughs> yeah. So that's true. Yeah, you're in total control tomorrow. So right. So in, oh, in oh, oh. Three, you couldn't see. I'm using my circle on uh, frying pans again. They're in the carousel. Uh, absolutely lovely. They've got a, a lifetime guarantee. Uh, just um, round off some mints. Put a little bit of garlic in there as well i'm going to pop a little bit i want to make mine a little bit spicy so i've got some chili powder i'm just going to add a touch of that i've got i've got um chili powder i'm going to put some chili powder in it's got a tablespoon but i'm not sure i think i'm going to start with a teaspoon cool and we're just going to toast off that uh, chili powder whoa okay all the fire engines. Did you set fire to the kitchen? So oh. I'll put some chili powder in. <laughs> what is what is that? That that's a cute little sniggle. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's really sorry, it's really hot. <laughs> I'm trying not to burn my Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we've got we've got a teaspoon of chili powder. That's probably gonna be really hot too. Um and we've got I, I haven't got soy sauce, so I'm gonna use Worcestershire sauce and I hope that doesn't bugger it up. Um it's also got two <laughs> two teaspoons of ground uh, is it cumin, but I don't have any of that. But I do have smoked paprika. And I'll put some of that in. It's supposed to be a tablespoon of that. Nice. Nice. Oh, smoked paprika. And half a teaspoon of garlic powder. That's all good. That's looking lovely, Adair, I have to say. There's something about well, those colours. They are pretty cool, aren't they? And yeah. now I've got some powder. So I actually went shopping this morning very early while the weather was calm, so I knew that I could get back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pepper. Where's the pepper? Here's the pepper. Uh, so we have right. pepper. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Stephen. Yeah, go England. <laughs> Let's try to even it up. Are you talking, are you talking cricket? That, well, no, I didn't. I didn't want to mention the cricket, but I am just saying that we did. We did beat you the other day, and I know. I know the Australians aren't big cricket fans, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to humiliate them. Okay. 
Go on. It takes a lot to humiliate us, you know that. I know. Well, no, I, I mean, the last time, last time I was in Sydney, um, we had a shocker. <laughs> we were, we were, yeah. You, you, you beat us hollow, but. Oh, we are a very tough bunch, I tell you. Yeah. And when it, Those and are when the it comes, if your care factor is like zero, that's terrible. I probably won't be back now. Will you? <laughs> Right. I've got these, these these yeah. tacos. I'm I'm going to show you one of them in a minute when they're just cooled down. I might just make another couple while we're while we're going because they didn't take long. I've got them pre-rolled out because they they probably don't need ten minutes. <laughs> I've just I've just realised in the oven. So okay, I think, I think ten minutes for the thinner ones is a little bit too much. So that's okay. You live and learn. That's the lovely thing about cooking, is that you know, you, a, you get to eat your mistakes, um, which is always well, sometimes good. you might not want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. When you when you throw a whole whole, whole a whole ton of chili on your chicken adobo, maybe you, you don't um, want to do that yes. so much. So that, that, wasn't my myself... finest, that wasn't my finest moment there. <laughs> no, no, it was it was quite amusing though. It made good TV. Um, so I just, put, <laughs> just, I just dry fry this mint because I want it nice and. Uh, never done nice anything like that. Never. So now I have to say, I have to say. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> right. So I've got some onions. I went. I went out to um, check the gas at the front because I thought, well, if it if the gas runs out and it's. Um, it's sort of windy and rainy and not very nice weather. I'd probably have to leave you there on your own while I. Yeah, I'll just come and nick you. <laughs> so it's one of the things that we need to do um, when you're on a boat to make sure that you know that you've got the enough water and enough gas and you know enough electricity which reminds me i think I'm, yeah. i know we've had overcast for the last few days nick and i said earlier before we came on camera that um or come on came on live that we were at 13.1 uh, and a couple of um probably two months ago i remember it was overcast for a few days and the battery just kept losing power and after i did our show i had to start the generator and recharge refuel the batteries so, wow um yes because they they powered off and we need to have the batteries for the fridge and for the toilet fan because if we don't have that and the food spoils and the place smells because it's yeah. in the, the composting toilets. It's a, it's a great topic to talk about while you're cooking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, let's talk about poo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, look, it's all, it's all part of the process, isn't it? It's got to go in one end and come out the other, whichever way you, Absolutely. Whichever way you look at it. You've got no oh, choice. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed. My figs things that I bought the other day some of them are going a little bit um a little bit too soft shall we say but uh I do love it pigs are funny things aren't they um I like I like figs in they're really old-fashioned fruit aren't they they are and the thing is they they to me they just look really unpleasant I mean <laughs> And the fact that I would just want to peel them all the time, but oh no, you they, just eat them like yeah. yeah. No, but they just don't look like they're edible. They're a good food for a specific organ in your body, aren't they? Isn't that um, isn't that how Mother Nature sort of designed the foods? Ooh. Like carrots for your eyes, um, walnuts for your brain, and they look like so what would, oh, figs would be good for your testicles. <laughs> 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 Did I say that out loud? Let's have another one then. 
I'm mm. not quite sure how this is going to turn out, but you know, what if? Oh, just it'll turn out fine. Mm. I've got some more. Oh, oh um, good. that is really good. Oh, mm. I'm liking those those nice food sounds coming from Australia there. <laughs> really nice. So, so remind us what what have you done? What have you done there, Adair? The three main ingredients here are walnut, um, cauliflower, and mushroom. And then I've just put a heap of spices like paprika and onion powder and garlic powder and chilli and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. You know, like, yeah. uh, the recipe says were, soy were, sauce. I have, well, I've got yeah, soy sauce. Were, don't know where it is. You were a little bit worried about adding the Worcestershire sauce, weren't you? But you Worcestershire know, you got sauce. Yeah, that no, is good. It's good, tastes good. And I reckon the walnuts, the walnuts are what make it. So I'll let that just fuzz away there. Mm. Cool. Oh, there you go. That's better. That's better. So let's see. What have you, have you got there? Have you got? Okay. So for, for one filling, I've got this dried, uh, almost like toasted mince with the chilli and the garlic and a little bit of red onion in there. So nice. that I'll probably put with a little bit of lettuce in my second job. Uh, this one, I've got the figs, tomatoes, more red onion. Um, again, probably pop a little bit of lettuce in there as well. I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, avocado. Nothing like avocado. avocado. That's, that's got to be a good combo. Let's grab my sharp and nice and yeah wait till i show you these homemade tacos they are one of them oh, I can't wait to see the, them. the other two are a little bit i think we'll call them caramelized see what you've got there this is my my avo which is quite so nice i'm not sure it. That looks all very civilized. I might get a plate and do the same. Don't know if that will come out. Oh, is, what do you do when you get a dud tomato? Do you ditch it and start again? Uh, a dud one, yeah, I would. This doesn't look very nice. Sure. Hang on, let me just let me just pop it on the other one. There we go. That doesn't look very nice at all, does it? Maybe give it a bit. See if I can find the, another one. Oh, hey. Okay. This is the taco that has worked. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a little oh, bit. I should wow. have probably, um, I should have probably pricked it uh, before I, I hung it in the oven, but that's one that has worked, so I'll, I'll keep that one for sure. <laughs> so why would you? Why did you need to prick it? Um, just to stop the air forming in the little pockets. Oh, so it doesn't get the bubbles, the air bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Now these other two. Oh, yeah. I need to. Um, now this one is the the caramelized version. So you can get some lovely colouring on your tacos. I don't like those pasty white ones. I don't know about you, Adair, but you know, <laughs> I like my tacos to, to be to be brown when I can. Um, that's so they can. Definitely, that's definitely the optimistic approach. <laughs> I'll I'll leave that one there so you can have a, a a cool version. Isn't that amazing? So you've got a lovely light white one, and this one. And, and again, just because I I did them a little bit thinner. So let's try and. This, this last one is is kind of in the middle. I'm just trying to get it off her. It just needs to be gently 
There you go, gently coaxed. And there we go, we've got another taco number three, which is a kind of, so it's almost like a color color bar chart, really, as to, as to how, how, how different your tacos can be. But that'll, okay. that'll do me. That'll do me for a, a first attempt at actually using, uh, instead of corn flour, uh, I was using uh, almond flour. So trying to keep it a little bit keto. And so, yeah, I think that's not, that's not right. worked out as badly as I as I first thought. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of salt in my in my mints. I've turned my mints off the off the heat, so it's just sitting there now, just looking lovely and delicious. So that's all there. So that's good. Um, got that avo. Keep half of that avo back. Looking good. Looking good. And if you're watching on Amazon, do please check out the uh, the carousels below. Um, because they've been cooking, we've not been so easy to actually click um, click the buttons uh, without getting a real mess on. But uh, all the all the things that we've been using uh, are are in there. So uh, please have a look around there. And while you're there, do follow us because then you'll get to see us. You, know, you get notification on our other shows. Um, so I've got another uh, I've got a keto show on Friday. Uh, which we basically is me making my lunch. <laughs> so that's <laughs> always on, on at midday in the UK. Yeah. So that, what time is that? Uh, that's midday in the UK. And this this week I, I got oh, sent I, I, got, hey, I got sent this beautiful they're in the carousel. I got sent these beautiful um proving baskets. So I was making bread a few weeks ago and uh and someone sent them to me so they said could I have a look at me and see what I like and they look brilliant, I have to say, and I unboxed them on last week's show. Um, but they really made they're, they're to make sourdough. So, in order to make sourdough, I've been growing Lucy here, my sourdough culture. I started her on Friday's show, so she'll be ready on this Friday. Um, but I need to work out how to actually do that because it takes the thing with sourdough, the proving as you get your dough to rise, that takes a lot longer. Than traditional um, yeasty methods, so um, I might have to do a here's one I made earlier type job. So I might have three loaves on the go, all at the same time. Um, but yeah, they're lovely. But they're the great sourdough and sourdough. All you know, bread isn't particularly keto, but it's probably the most keto bread of them all because we are fermenting as opposed to so if any of the um, we're pretty much using fermented flour. So we're we're taking all the a lot of the carbs out, so they're lower carb bread than normal bread. Um, and of course, all these things with keto is you only have two slices, that's not going to blow your your keto diet. And if you're on super dirty keto, have another have... slice after that. But when are you on next? Are there? Um, well, I'm uh, I'm on, up on Thursday. I'm doing a um, a channel takeover. Well, I'm not doing a channel takeover. I've got an author um, at publishing house owner, lovely Bridget Holder. She does a channel takeover from my channel on Thursdays. And she uh, she interviews her authors uh, on My Time TV, so, which is kind of fun. So I produce it and she nice. interviews it. So we're live on Thursday mornings at 9 a.m. Australian Central, Australian, Australian, Eastern Standard Time. Which Easy is, for you to say. This this time of this time of the year, it really it, it does your head in daylight saving, doesn't it? Ah, uh, it, it does. I was I was convinced it was eight o'clock in Australia when I I was thinking, oh man, it's gonna be late for you, but no, it's seven. That's okay. We work around yeah, all yeah. these things. But no, oh, that's that's great. So yeah, so do follow Adair as well then, and you know check out those things and. I have a, a weekly uh, live stream on Amazon with Stephen Healy, and we talk all about uh, lights, cameras, action is his title, live video production. And we talk about all the things that we we use and, and what we do to live stream and encourage people. So if you're watching, you know, this is, this is you know, the, the one of the most fun things you can do online, I believe. So, you know. I just, so, I just need to check um, out for a moment. Yeah, go for it. So this is where we get to, to watch Adair's window, and you can see the horizon gently rocking up and down. It was a little bit more 
It was a little bit more rocky earlier on, I'll be honest, when I, when I was watching. But uh, yeah, so here we are. Here's the tacos. Um, so this one, they're all cool down now. So basically, if, you, if you're just watching, what we did, I, I made these taco shells uh, from scratch. So it was just 100 grams of, uh, 100 grams of um, white flour, 100 grams of almond flour, uh, dessert spoon of salt. Oh, hi, Christina. Uh, yeah, late to the game. No worries. We're, we're, we're cooking tacos. And so, hey, yeah, so I Christina, nice to see grams you. Of white, almond flour. Added some water just to bring it into a dough. You don't have to knead it too much. And then split them into a little bowl of balls. So these little, here are some that I made earlier. So separate them into little balls and then rolled them flat and hung them in an oven. So on my, on my, on my oven oh, was, rack. And uh, well, we just I, hung I, them I for, for 10 nice. minutes. And depending on how thick they were, they came out different colors. <laughs> so... <laughs> But I'm sure they will all taste beautiful. And so, so yeah, Christine, so I'm doing like a little uh, a mince uh, one and a vegetarian one. And Adair is doing something spectacular with All right, so I'll just do a quick, quick recap if you want. I did, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm doing, you just pop that camera over here. Again, I'm doing, I've got a mixture of walnuts, cauliflower, and mushroom in here has been chopped up, some of it by hand, um, a hand processor, some of it by a, a using an actual food processor. I think it's the first time I have used anything like that on the show. Um, a variety. I think it went really well. Uh, yeah, a variety of spices. So we've got garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, chili. Um, you could probably put you know, different things in. I might have just, just popped in some shallots or what do you call them? Spring onions. So nice. This is this, this, uh, they're supposed to this is supposed to go into the oven for half an hour, but I've got, in the absence of an oven, um, I have uh, used my frying pan, frying pan. So here we go. It's coming together nicely. Yes, it is. Um, good to see yeah. you, Christine. And if you're over on Amazon, hello, and uh, do say hi. Uh, Gloria, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. I'll drink to that. Cheers with my homemade kombucha. Lovely. Yeah, drink to that with your kombucha. My non-alcoholic homemade kombucha. I know, it's very good. Right, so on my little, on my darkest one, here's a little, I made this um, last night. This is a little fig, uh, fig salad, fig and tuna. Uh, it's got olive oil, olives in it, spinach, the usual the usual suspects in a salad um uh, figs red onion a little bit of feta cheese um cucumber tomatoes you know the drill so I'll try and... you know the drill. well let's assemble these tacos shall we yeah in a bit packaged so this could be pretty messy See, I'm now, I'm now wishing I'd made a bigger taco shell. <laughs> I, here's one by the magic of television. Like I said before, here's one I didn't prepare earlier, but I got from the shop. Um, <laughs> and this one, I love these because they're those stand-up ones. Stand-up ones. Stand-up ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, hey, mine stand up. Look, that's the one. Yeah, you know, one thing that did go right is they they did stand up, which is really cool. Oh, I'm impressed. That's really cool. What do you mean, Matt? They look really good, Nick. Okay. Let's see if I can do this and make it look a little bit polite. I'm just going to do one. A little bit of lettuce at the bottom there. So this, is, this has had about 20 minutes to half an hour in the, in the fry pan to dry it out a little bit. and. Nice. In fact, in that in that respect, it's not that dissimilar um, so, to the one I yeah. did with my mince. What, what what order are you putting your tacos in the uh, you're assembling your tacos? What order are you doing it in? All right, so I've got a a, a little bit of lettuce at the bottom, 
Oh, whoops. Um, Do I have to keep this down for medicine? <laughs> <laughs> just, just as a little base, really, and then I'm just going to pop some figs in All right. there. I'm going to start again. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, apparently, as we've now told, they're very good for a certain part of your anatomy. So, yeah. <laughs> having, I'll be having more figs as the day goes on. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's what Google told me anyway. So now we'll start. So oh, we, must we be, put must the be in it and we put a yeah. little bit of the. Now this is take two. Putting the filling in. And a bit of tomato, a little bit of tomato. I'm just going to, I like a bit of salt on tomato too, so I'm going to just Ooh, have a little. Yes. Yeah, I love that idea. A nice couple of splits of salt and a bit of pepper. And then I'll put a... Are you putting cheese on your tacos? Um, I can do. I've got a, I've got my chili plant outside, out the back. Oh, your chili plant. Just go plant. harvest one. You keep, if you keep talking in a minute. I'll just quickly go and grab one. Well, I've got some cheese. I've got a four cheese. Ah! <laughs> Horace man, tacos gone to hell. No, that's all right. It's all right. I, I've um. I've re revived it. There we go. So this is the taco. You've got two tacos that you like two different ones. You made a little mince one and also a vegetarian one. Yeah. And I've just yeah, got a vegetarian got, one. Yeah, I've actually got, I actually got three because I've got my little tuna salad one that I did last oh, night. Okay. Yeah, tuna and fig salad. Got the mince. Uh, that's mince and garlic and onion and chili powder. And then we've got the little veggie one over here, which is the avocado, tomato, fig, lettuce, red onion, all those delicious, delicious things. So let me move this away because I'm gonna this nothing gets wasted. I shall be using this in a minute after the show to make something delicious for, for lunch. Well, I'm just gonna make another one because I'm a bit hungry now and even though yeah. I'm trying not to eat late, but I think mean, look, there we go. I reckon I'm going to have two tacos. Just a Go bit of salt and pepper on that. Actually, now, I do, can't actually think where my food is. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Oh, so if you've just joined us, we're, we're on the tail end of cooking tacos. Um, Nick has done three different varieties, and I've just done one. But, uh, yeah, but yours looks amazing, I have to say. Well, well I reckon so, that you the, you've done the taco shells, which is a winner in my books, because that to me is not something that I even contemplate. Well, number one, because I don't have an oven, but. <laughs> Yeah, but, trust me, I wasn't contemplating it until I couldn't get any taco shells. <laughs> Suddenly, well, you know, well, a... that, that is kind of ingenious, and I'm, I'm, I'm rather impressed. I'm just going to get out another, another bowl, another plate, another. Oh, thanks, Nigel. They both look amazing. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm really impressed. So there's, hang on, I'm just going to duck out to my... Um, <laughs> my herb garden oh yeah your herb garden oh yeah that's now that's something i'll be able to do on the new <laughs> one. i just threw it at the computer <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah I, i'm yeah. using a plate <laughs> yeah well i was i was trying to show it to the camera but i think this one's going to be easier there we go Oh, nice. Oh, there we nice. go. <laughs> so that's what I, that wasn't me. The boat was rocking. Stop yeah, that, that, must be, that must be difficult. Oh, yeah, no, so they, they are um, super, super right. stoked with those. A little bit overdone, but the one in the middle. I kind of like, I like yours. I reckon they, um, 
I would like to try what you've done there with the um, the taco shells, but I'll have to obviously source yeah. myself another. Yeah, well, yeah, let's give it a taste test. What do you reckon? Oh, definitely. This is where it could go everywhere. So, mm, I'm just going to get a paper towel. Well, hang on. Mm. All right. Here we go. Mm. They really work. I should not be so surprised, but yeah. Crunchy taco. Really good. Mm. Oh, that's crunchy. Mm. Well, I reckon we both won. <laughs> oh. Uh. Absolutely. Wow. Mm. That was just so delicious. And I'm really glad I didn't put any more chili powder in than what I did because it's starting to burn. <laughs> no. That is awesome. Absolutely fantastic. What? Well, yeah, well, I think you're right, Adair. I think we're both winners on that one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely now, gorgeous. Next week, we haven't had any requests, mm -hmm. but Nick and I have been talking behind the scenes. <laughs> and we would like to know what you think of us doing some hang on a minute just hold Oops. <laughs> <laughs> um a light just fell down i just go rescue it <laughs> yeah now we're thinking of doing something a little bit different next week so all right, you, carry on. They're telling you because it's a great idea. All right. Okay. I'm back. Keep back. No, I just don't. Yeah, I don't need the boat to rock anymore because I've got all this stuff balanced precariously on the. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Yeah, the joys of boat life. Um. Yeah. So we were thinking of doing some desserts. We'd love to know what you think. Yeah. So absolutely. So. We can do all sorts. If you have any desserts that you would like to see us make, no bake, of course, that is one criteria. And we'd like to try and keep them healthy if possible or healthy as possible. So um, so thinking about, uh, I don't know if you do, um, keto is no sugar, but you do, can you use things like ag uh, is it agave and... Um, yeah, a garden there made the garve chocolates on the keto show a couple of Fridays ago. Um, okay, so I did make a, a, a slightly keto ice cream a few weeks ago, but we can yeah. do a beautiful, um, a beautiful uh, no bake cheesecake. We could do that, and we can have okay. lots of beautiful flavors in there. So, well, I'm going to go I, for that, her, that, not worry too much about the, the keto. Oh, Nige, Flummery Cheesecake. Are you going to come over mm. and cook it? Oh, come on, Nige. Come on. You can't just, you can't use a word like flummery and then not flummery come and cook and it. I know. We did, we went out to, um, we had a, a bit of a gaz on the island on Friday night last week and um, one of the girls, shout out to you, Gabriel, from the Coochie Foodies, actually. She, uh, she made this, what she called flummery and it was like an instant hit and everybody just loved it and Nige especially and there's two things he loves and one's jelly and the other's yogurt and this is a beautiful combination of both oh. and so oh we're saying it's very possible so I might I might bring my secret ingredient next week <laughs> it's always good when you're both on the boat that's fantastic i know i know but i think we could probably have two a couple i'm thinking of a couple mm. of um things that we could do so um so should we make it a bit of potluck and see what we come up with yeah absolutely yeah and if anyone's got a specific one they they want then for sure yeah we can we can do whatever i'll i'll think it may be a um maybe a, a little because I do have an oven, I could do a little uh, kafluti, so a little little fruit in batter. 
with them. Oh, he's, he's stretching the he's stretching the boundaries already, aren't you? Ooh, because I, I know you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be in the big kitchen as well, so I'll have loads more space, <laughs> loads more room, and oh, mm. well, I might have to come up with another comedy act because I can't compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can, I can still burn my tacos. <laughs> oh, that was no, a good one. Be, that was a good one. Right. Be good. This, this stuff be. is really, really nice. I'm going to go and eat it. Yeah, I think about time you should eat because it's getting late for you. Thank you, everybody, uh, for watching. Thank yes. you for all your comments. Thank you, nice. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, everybody. And say, if you're watching on Amazon, hit that follow button and you get notification when we both go live again as well and we've got multiple shows all through the week so uh until next week be safe have an amazing week and Adair, some final words from you because you're the best oh right back at you i really enjoy being here with you it is so much fun and uh, you all have a great week everyone we'll see you next week take care guys bye Thank mm -hmm. you.